obviously we're racing with the Tri-State Late Model Series uh, tonight. Um, this series was formed really about three, four years ago when it originated as the Midwest Late Model Series. We had uh, a fellow by the name of Mike Gross who kind of took over the promoting of the series in 2018 last year and uh, he decided on a name change of the to the Tri-State Late Models which is a, I think a little bit of a catchier name to the series. But uh, we had that series uh, last year. I think we had 13 races on the schedule. Uh, race, you know, within two hours, really, of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's kind of centered around. But uh, we were uh, followed the whole series last year. We were able to win the series. And uh, this year, started off uh, on a high note last Friday at Rock Rapids, Iowa. Got a third place finish on our opener. And we got a nice 20 race schedule this year which uh, we were looking so forward to coming here this weekend. I was telling my friends on the way down here about uh, the three-day swing we got this weekend. It's awful exciting. I've been used to racing in this size of track, really. I used to, for about three, four years, uh, we raced in here on South Dakota, Dakota State Fair Speedway, and it's similar size to this track. Uh, for the most part, our series that we run in runs on a smaller track, which is uh, coming to a bigger track is no big deal to us. It just means that we're gonna go faster and as a race car driver, you always wanna feel the speed. I started racing back in 1993 when I was 17 years old. So that'll tell you how old I am, but um, just like any racer really growing up, my dad and my brother were involved in race and that's how I got into it. Started off in the bomber class, which back in my hometown of Winter, South Dakota was the lowest division and uh, just kind of generally just worked my way up, uh, raced a lot for probably about 15 years on tracks around the Sioux Falls area, Houston's and Brandon, I-90 Speedway in Hartford in a class called Late Model Street Stocks, um, and then four years ago moved up to the Late Model Division. I like to compete. I like the, the competitiveness of racing, uh, um, the getting together with the guys and hanging out on the weekends. Uh, it's almost like a, an athlete in any other sport that's involved in a team. You know, it's racing's no different. There's the driver in the cockpit, but it's it's a team sport really because there's a lot of work that involves getting ready during the week and uh, also at the racetrack. We've had uh, started off with some gremlins that we kind of had to work through the first few races, but hopefully we got those worked out the last few races that we've been out. We've had some good finishes, so we're really looking forward to this weekend. Any racetrack I'm happy with, you know, way is, uh, you know, you, you always have your favorites, personal favorites to me. I always look at it as it's the same for everybody when you're out on the racetrack, so you just got to deal with it. Uh, I guess for me, one thing I... Um, don't like the most I guess is a rough racetrack so hopefully uh, watching some videos on YouTube this week of this track here it always looked nice and smooth and hopefully it's that way again tonight. My number 22 came from Jack the Wild Child Hoddenshield in the World of All Us Sprint Car ranks when he was in the early 90s he was the number 22 Pennzoil Sprint Car and he was my favorite driver back then that's how I got the 22.